Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Popcorn Reviews. I'm Farhad. If you're new to this channel, then please smash that subscribe button now. And today, the film that we are going to be discussing is the new Tamil film, which is called Jigar Thanda Double X, which is the spiritual sequel of Jigar Thanda. Now, Jigar Thanda is a film of 2014, and to release a spiritual sequel after almost a decade is a bit of a challenge, especially when the first film is a bit of a cult. Now, in back in 2014, I hadn't watched the films, given that my exposure to cinema was only restricted to Hindi and occasionally English films. I went on to watch Jigar Thanda much later. In fact, last year when the official Hindi adaptation Bachchan Pandey was about to release and the audacity that it was, Bachchan Pandey was a huge failure. But in the process, I thoroughly enjoyed Jigar Thanda, the first part. And uh, I found it was a, with its all meta references, it was a fitting ode to cinema. And uh, it just gave out a message that anybody can be a filmmaker, you know. And uh, your contribution to cinema is much more than what you anticipate it to be. Something on those lines. But to have a spiritual sequel was a totally different challenge. But with Karthik Subaraj at the helm of it, I was a little confident going into the film. Now, the film uh, had a very limited theatrical release, which is why I missed it. And eventually, I watched it on Netflix last night. Um, so, how is Jigar Thanda double X in comparison even to Jigar Thanda? Let's find out. So, coming to the story and screenplay, Jigar Thanda is essentially a story of an undercover cop who has to kill a notorious gangster along the way. And the medium that he uses is that of cinema to trap him. But there are bigger challenges ahead of him as well. And this is something that I did not give out the spoiler in the story itself because it has so much to unpack. The story has so much to unpack that um, it is indeed going to be a fruitful discussion. Now, there is a searing commentary that is going on in the film about the environment and the wildlife amidst the politics that takes place around these two uh, aspects uh, in our society. Other than that, this also with its meta references, again, it is a symbol of cinema, the powerful tool that cinema is, you know, the powerful tool that uh, cinema is towards raising awareness and to have a social commentary of sorts, something that you would notice in the Iranian films if you watch. The Iranian filmmakers are often, you know, um, restricted with their filmmaking techniques because of the government impositions back in Iran. And that is when they come out with very smart uh, film pieces that uh, would enhance the awareness of the issues that are going on in their country. And I think that is a technique that Karthik Subaraj brilliantly adapts here as a part of his storytelling technique. The screenplay standing at almost three hours might seem long, but it is entertaining, it is engaging, it is poignant, and it is also disturbing towards the end. A word that I did not think I would say in such a film, I was not prepared for that ending. Now the drama here, it begins with the introduction of the protagonist, uh, one of the protagonists who is falsely accused of murder. Prior to that, uh, there's a little context that is given uh, regarding the uh, wildlife um, issue that the state of Tamil Nadu is facing, wherein the poachers are hunting down the elephants. Now, this was a bit of an indifferent start for me, given that uh, I it took me a little while to warm up to the drama as to what it was trying to say through these unconnected events. But the conflict begins when... Um, a little brief of the politics of the land is given after a two-year leap in which the now accused, falsely accused uh, cop is forced to go undercover to, you know, kill a notorious gangster. And that is when the real uh, film begins and it starts off on an amusing note. There are meta references, there's a reference to Clint Eastwood and his filmography and how he gave his camera to the protagonist, the gangster protagonist that is there. I think uh, this uh, formulated for a humorous watch. I would say it was uh, nice, it was playful, 
but it was still nothing that you may not have already watched there you have you may have watched films that would tackle a similar theme and um, it was amusing but it did keep getting better with a little face off uh, and the interval block the events leading to the interval block are interesting as well in the commercial space you can say but that is the beauty of the writing it catches you unaware until that brilliant second half that is there the second half is perhaps one of the most unassumingly brilliant piece of writing that i have witnessed this year and i say that with a lot of um, confidence because uh, i did not see that coming yes there was a subtle reference to the wildlife and environment that was there at the beginning which became the boiling point after the halfway mark in the space itself it was tonally within the same you can say stretch of paint that was uh, coated in the film now there were situations that were created that was so heartwarming in the second hour leading to a transformation of two characters two protagonists uh, along the way you know there was this beautiful scene in which um, the gangster protagonist um, you know he um, uh stalls an attack uh, on a pregnant elephant while the pregnant elephant delivers a child the character who is attacking the elephant is based on a character roughly on virappan that is there the notorious gangster in the forest briefly on that and uh, that is something that leads to the protagonist getting injured and here the second protagonist the cop protagonist that is there who is filming everything who shooting everything that has a change of heart and the scene cut that is there it leads to uh, the mother delivering a baby where here the two individuals are reborn again i think that parallel that is parallel that is drawn i think that is beautifully placed and executed in the screenplay but this is just the start of the second half uh, the politics that plays on the twists and turns that are there uh, it accounts for one of the most memorable second halves of the year i would say i was not prepared for that dark ending and this is the brave kind of ending that i was referring to in my video of animal animal if you would see was a very safe kind of writing which was relying only on the shock value instead here you see an entire piece of writing coming together in a totally unexpected manner in an unexpected direction as well um, it was bold it was brave it was disturbing but it also highlighted the importance of cinema as a tool to raise awareness and i think that was a very very important message along with the meta references at the end it made for a wonderful 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 second half enough said i think i've seen one of the best second halves of this year uh, by a margin that elevates the drama to a totally new level now coming to the technical aspects here the dialogues the music and the direction i felt the dialogues are filled with multiple meta references that are totally worth your time it will make you chuckle but along the way you will also find a little messaging that is there which is rousing which also has a little social commentary which also raises a little awareness on the environment on the politics of it more of it all through the lines and it's packaged to make it for a solid impactful watch now the music here is earthy and it makes for a wonderful watch when you're watching it with the film it blends well with the atmospherics of the drama the bgm you know ranges from being playful to being dramatic uh, but the tonal shift of the drama is beautifully um, adapted by the background score as well the bgm uh so the cinematography the cinematography comprises of frames that are wonderful especially the final sequence that is there that was disturbingly dark and that was the least thing that i had expected from such a film of the range of jigar thanda double x it was wonderful to watch that all the technicians and everyone was stretching themselves and opting for a brave creative decision at the end i think that is something that needs to be commended for the entire crew the editing was a little patchy at the beginning the first 20 minutes did give me an impression it was slightly patchy uh, i wouldn't say it was completely off but then the editing uh, gets into its mojo gets into its groove as well as the uh the drama unfolds further and becomes crisp and sharp especially in that second half it's amazing to watch enough said 
director Karthik Subaraj is one of the few filmmakers whose voice needs to be preserved and you know put it in a bubble wrap of sorts he is outstanding to the core and the and the sheer audacity to offer that brave and um, poignant ending the disturbing ending that is there i think that i doff my hat off to him he is wonderful to watch in between he also creates some heartwarming moments along with a searing commentary a searing social commentary that totally hits home by the end of the film i mean to the performances i felt the performances are outstanding here um, i think uh, sanchita she has a charming presence she did a good job here navin chandra shows is metal yet again as an actor it was an intimidating performance shine tom chako definitely makes his presence felt in a little menacing act of sorts uh nimisha sajay and what a talented actor and she has delivered two super hit films in the tamil film industry this year um in the form of chitta and now jigathanda double x it's been a phenomenal year for nimisha and i think she's done an incredible job her screen presence is to die for and i think she was wonderful wonderful to watch absolutely to the core she did a wonderful job but the film you know is dedicated in it's you know the show belongs this uh, in incessantly to sj surya and raghav lawrence now raghav lawrence was an interesting casting choice it reminded me of suri from uh, viduthalai uh, given that suri had resorted only to comic roles i think raghav lawrence was absolutely wonderful with his screen presence with his comic timing which was so effortless in a towering performance where the maturity just kicked in after the second hour with the transformation likewise sj surya was absolutely brilliant to the core enough said i mean his character had a little goofiness to it there was a little uh, sincerity and earnestness to it but a change of heart led to a lot of maturity in his performance and that maturity reflected in that searing and heart wrenching disturbing final act oh my god enough said i think both of them did an incredible job both of them have a wonderful chemistry together so overall jigar thanda is a uh, jigar thanda double x beg your pardon is a timely reminder on the greatness of cinema used as a powerful tool for raising awareness and social commentary it comes with my highest recommendation uh, do not miss this it's rare that a spiritual sequel of an already successful cult predecessor turns out to be better than that i mean that is such a huge achievement of the highest order jigar thanda double x highly recommended available on netflix if you've already watched it please leave your comments let me know what did you make of the film what did you make of the performances of the film if you're liking this video please smash that like button press that subscribe button press that little bell icon that is there share this video with your friends and family any little help helps a small creator like me also if you'd like to read my full review of jigar thanda double x then it is present on my site popcorn reviews with a double s the link of which is in the description box below do visit that as well also follow me on different social media platforms like facebook instagram twitter and letterbox all information is present on uh, in the description box i do not end up making a video on everything that you that i watch but i you know write a lot all information is present on my site and my social india handles so please do visit them as well i'll see you again soon very soon with another video till then thank you so much for your love and support and take care of yourselves cheers